Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I've been working on uh, some projects today. So I went on Amazon and I bought these clear little mini paint cans, um, which they look like those ones that came out for um, Valentine's Day that everybody was kind of sharing with each other that had hearts and cute little things on it. So I just got some plain ones from Amazon. They come in a pack of six. Um, and they're three inches in height and, um, they're about two and a half, a little bit more than two and a half inches, um, in width. So, um, I decided to get some of these and alter them and make them, uh, or use them to make some Easter little buckets. So of course I'll link this in my description box, um, at the end of the video, uh, just be sure to check the description box if you are interested in purchasing some of these, but I love that they're clear. Um, I didn't see them in any other colors, but, um, I don't know if they come in other, you know, if they're have non-clear ones, I don't know, but I got the clear. So anyway, <clears throat> let me show you what I created. So here's the first one that I did which is, of course, you can see that it's clear. Um, this cute little embellishment that's on top here, um, Anna gifted me this quite some time ago. Um, and I think it's Bloom Street paper, but it's very, it can be, it's very springy. So I thought it would be okay for Easter. Um, I did make this heart-shaped rosette and I put that on top of it. Um, so I didn't have to do much on this one other than connect this to that. And then on the top, I did go ahead and I put um, a double layer um, rosette. Um, I used the Tim Holtz um, rosette die, um, the little skinny one uh, from back in the day. <laughs> and it has both sizes on the same one. So I just made the larger one and the smaller one and layered them on top. I did keep them a plain cardstock just because there's so many other colors going on. Um, this is a cute little Easter butterfly that um, you can buy at Hobby Lobby. I think they have them again this year. Um, and then I just put a little gem, but I just love that. And you can put a little treat in there and send it to somebody for spring or for Easter. But I love how that came out. So super cute. And the top just pops right off and you can fill it up with some goodies. So that's the first one that I did. Then I did this one. Um, this is also an embellishment that I picked up at uh, Hobby Lobby as well. Um, it's a sticker um, and it has just like foam on the back. And I just added that and it says Happy Easter. I did put a few little random gems on there, which these were gifted to me from Anna as well. I think in a swap. And then I did kind of the same thing at the top. I just added a cute little rosette. Uh, at the top and added one of those cute little butterflies. And I did stickle that. If I didn't say, I stickled all of the rosettes that you see here on top. And I just added this cute little Happy Easter sticker on there. So fun and so easy to make. And you can do them however you want um, to alter them. You can, I'm sure there's a thousand things you could think of to do and not even just for Easter. They're, these are just cute to alter to send somebody some fun little goodies. <clears throat> and then here's the last one that I did. Um, I did use some faux leather that I got from the Craft Mom over on Instagram. And I die cut out some of these little peeps. And I added some little um, bunny tails and some of these cute little Hobby Lobby flowers on the ears. And this is a Hobby Lobby trim and it's very springy. And I've never used it before, but I was like, well, let me try it. And I just uh, added it around the top of the, the can um, all the way around. And I just love it. It's really cute and fun and um, very spring colors. And then, um, of course, I did add a rosette to the top of this one as well. And then it's ready to go. And you just pop the top off. It comes off fairly easily. Uh, let me see. My nails are short. <laughs> but it comes off pretty easily. And you can just uh, fill it up with some goodies and send it to somebody. So I thought that was a fun little idea to try and alter some of these and make them all spring-like. And I love how they came out. So thank you guys so much for stopping by to take a look at my projects today. Like I said, I'll go ahead and link in the description box um, where I picked up these little, um, these little pails on 
uh, from Amazon. Um, so if you guys want to get some, you can uh, see that again in my description box. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And just one more thing. I picked up these cute little, um, now I can't even think what, like mug hats, but I put them on mason jars. They're so cute. I think, I, I don't know if I'm going to do a tear tray for Easter or spring. I'm kind of on the fence, but I put them on my desk because I think they look super cute. So I love that. And I love their, their crocheted. They're really super cute. So thank you guys so much for stopping by again to take a look at my projects. And I will see you guys all very soon. Bye.